Hi friends, my name is Miss Erica and I am the Programs and Outreach Manager for EVPL. I have a very special story time for you today about a local hero in our community. Did you guys know that we celebrate Earth Day in April? On April 22nd, actually. That is a day where we celebrate being kind to our environment. You might have heard of Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. Well, today my story features one of our local recycling heroes. Her name is Evie. So this is our book for today. It's called Retrieving with Evie. It's by Susan Harp, who is actually uh, was a local teacher here in Evansville and illustrated by John Seal. He's also a local teacher here in Evansville. So they wrote this book together about a real life dog named Evie and how she helps protect the environment. All right, you guys ready? Let's do our hello song first. Here we go. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well and I'm really excited to read your book. All right, so here we are. Retrieving with Evie. Welcome to Labrador Lane. My name is Evie and I want to share my story with you. I am a yellow Labrador retriever who lives with my human family in Evansville, Indiana. Do you have a dog at home? Or a cat? Any kind of pet? I have two dogs. They're black labs, so they're kind of like Evie. Labrador Lane is located in a woods along Pigeon Creek. A lot of wildlife share my special place. Turtles, rabbits, squirrels, ducks, geese, foxes, deers, owls, and great blue herons keep me busy. Can you see Evie with all of her friends? I like to swim in my very own lake and run around in my big yard. But sometimes I have to take obedience lessons. My daddy says I have to learn how to be a good citizen even though I'm just a little puppy. My daddy says I am a good girl and so smart. I can sit, stay, lie down, walk on a leash, and retrieve. I love to retrieve best of all. Sometimes I show my wildlife friends the lessons I've learned. One day, my daddy took me down to the Ohio River. Have you seen the Ohio River? It's quite big. I got so excited when I saw all that water. I tried really hard not to jump in it, but I just couldn't resist all those big sticks floating along the bank. I loved retrieving those sticks, but then something shiny bobbed up and down right in front of my nose. What do you think it is? What do you think is bobbing up in the water? Is it shiny? Do you have any ideas? Since I am so smart, I remembered what that shiny thing was. My family puts those shiny things into a big blue box. Yes, it was a soda can, just like the ones my family recycles. I made my retrieve and took the prize to my daddy. He was very proud of me, but he said that I could cut my mouth trying to retrieve cans. He was telling me that we could take it home to recycle, but I had already plunged back in the water. I couldn't believe my luck. Soda cans were floating everywhere. Do you see all those cans floating in the river? Are they supposed to be in the river? I don't think so. I didn't know which one to grab first. Just then I heard my daddy say, Evie, you can't retrieve all those cans. We would be here all day and you could get hurt. Maybe some of our friends will help us retrieve those cans another day. I really didn't like leaving those cans, but I had to be a good citizen and obey my daddy. It was lunchtime, so we drove up to one of those places that hands you a sack full of food out of a window. 
I love to stick my head out of the car and drool at all those nice people. As we were leaving, I saw a man drop his yummy sack on the ground. Do we put our sacks on the ground? What do you think? I don't think they go on the ground. I got so excited that I barked to let that man know I would gladly retrieve his sack. As Daddy stopped the car to pick up the sack, I forgot my good girl manners. I jumped out and had that sack in my mouth before Daddy could get out of his seatbelt. I looked all around for the man who dropped his sack. He was gone, and so to my surprise, so was the food in the sack. I was really confused. My family always puts our empty sacks in the kitchen trash can at home. I am sure they do this so I can walk by and sniff for a few days. Then I spotted two more sacks and wondered if the food was still in them. I looked around for the owners of the sacks because I was convinced these people didn't know their sacks were missing. Maybe they saw me retrieve the empty sack and wanted to leave me sacks with food. You know, I always did get special rewards in obedience school for retrieving. Look at our trash can. Does he look happy that the sacks are on the ground? No, he's got a frown. He knows those sacks don't go on the ground. My thoughts were quickly interrupted as Daddy took the sack from my mouth. He threw it into a trash bin that was just steps away from where I found all the sacks. Look at our trash can now. He looks happy because the sacks are going where they belong. Look at him. Evie, you can't retrieve everything around this place. We would be here all day and you could get sick. Maybe some of our friends will help us retrieve those sacks another day. I felt kind of sad as I hung my head out the window on our drive home. I love sniffing the air when we're driving on the Lloyd Expressway, but I kept thinking of all the things I didn't retrieve. I didn't understand why people would throw or drop things if they weren't playing retrieve. Why would they do that? I felt a little better when some kids waved as their car passed by us. Ouch! I put a little sting on my nose. Where's your nose? Can you imagine if something stung it? What do you think it is? It really started to hurt. I whimpered for a moment and then I just let out a howl. My daddy pulled over to see what had happened and he saw smoke coming from the car seat. I had been hit by a cigarette butt. Do you think that's very nice? throw a cigarette butt out? It's not very nice. Look at poor Evie's nose. It hurts. Those kids who waved at me were nice, but some adult in that car had thrown a cigarette out when they passed us. My daddy put some cool water on my nose and he said my fur was gonna be okay. I didn't feel like sniffing anymore air until we got to Labrador Lane. I knew I wouldn't have to worry about litter bugs throwing fire at me once I got home. The only kind of bugs and fire would be in the fireflies that I like to chase in my backyard. See the fireflies? Can you count how many there are? Let's count them together. One, two, three. Three fireflies that Evie's chasing after. That night before bedtime, my daddy said he had been thinking about what a good citizen I was. I had tried to retrieve the trash people had left, but it was more litter than I could ever retrieve alone. He said, Evie, let's call our friends at Keep Evansville Beautiful, and together we can spread the word. My daddy and I were both wagging our tails and dancing around the room. As we were dancing, my daddy gave a cheer, Evie, E, B, I. But then he stopped because he had another great idea. Evie, your name can send a message to all of our friends. Here we go. There's R E stands for every V volunteer. I is and another E for essential. Do you know what essential means? 
things are very important and we need them. We need every volunteer that we can get. So we need to send every volunteer is essential in keeping Evansville beautiful. Now I know why I'm so smart. I'm daddy's little girl. Help Evie retrieve litter. Keep Evansville beautiful. There's all kinds of information about how you can help. So this is Retrieving with Evie. And if you like this one, there is a sequel called Evie Goes Clean and Green. It's also by Susan Harp. Now, unfortunately, our good friend Evie crossed the Rainbow Bridge last year. And it was very sad, but I think it's important that we all keep remembering Evie's message that every volunteer is essential, especially when it comes to protecting our environment and making our city beautiful. So make sure that you recycle your soda cans, don't throw them on the ground, put your trash in the trash can, make that trash can happy. You don't want a trash can to be sad either. And also, if you see somebody throwing trash and you feel comfortable and your adults with you and they feel comfortable, maybe you could say, hey, let's help keep our environment pretty. Every volunteer is essential. You can also visit Keep Evansville Beautiful. They have different events that you and your family can do to help clean up our city. All right, that's everything that I have today. I really appreciate you guys joining me for our special story time. Let's do our goodbye song. Are you ready? Here we go. Our hands say thank you with the clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with the tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands around and say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Be sure to check out our EVPL Facebook page and YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you'll get updates of other programs such as this one for you and your family. You can also visit us at www.evpl.org. Bye.